Hey there people, how's it going? This is Flawless and Flawless Rage 2 bringing you another video. Um, well, another November pickups video. Um, so we've got just got a, just a few bits to get through today. Nothing too drastic, so hopefully this won't last too long. But this is, the first one It is a CD. Kerrang! Radio presents Kerrang! Anthems. This is absolutely fantastic. It's got some really good stuff on it. You're seeing some names splashed across the front there. You know what it's all about right now. Um, here is Kerrang Anthems. Um, that's what the front looks like on the back. Let's have a look at some of the music that's on it. So that's got things like Fall Out Boy Centuries on it. Got Bring Me the Horizon, who are amazing on it. Um, got My Chemical Romance on it. Nickelback are on here. Pantera is on here. Um, you know, Funeral for a Friend is on here. But the thing about it is, if you look just here... See that? Why is Pendulum on here? Pendulum, in case you don't know, is nothing to do with rock or metal. Pendulum is a um, like a drum and bass artist. Why the hell has, or how even, has me made it onto what's supposed to be a rock CD? Just throws it off, really. I mean... It's just weird in my opinion, but you know, guys might there like might like that sort of thing, but you know, us rock and metal freaks. Um just find it a bit weird really. But anyway, yeah, pendulum's on there for some stupid ass reason. Um let's take a look at the actual discs. So it opens up like this. And uh, both discs look the same. There's C D one. Not too bad. Not too bad. A little bit of a nice design on there. Same thing for disc two, really. But yeah, that is Kerrang! Anthems. Apart from Pendulum being on there, pretty damn good. Okay, the next one is Family Guy, Blue Harvest. Paid 50p for this one out of a charity shop. This, of course, as you can see, is the Star Wars, well, one of the Star Wars ones. Um, you're really, really good. I was happy to find this, actually. Huge Family Guy fan, and also, well, you know, so was my son, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, this is Family Guy Presents Blue Harvest. Absolutely fantastic. On the back there, you see some screenshots. There's Peter Griffin. And there's all your favourite characters. Brian is a brown dog, or Chewy. Um, you've got Peter on there. There's Herbert as well, and Chris. And um, also, there's Lois down there. Rated 15, for obvious reasons. Um, yeah, just pretty good. Well, I'll take a look at the disc, and the disc is um, quite good to be honest, it's very, very detailed. Um, you know, what more could you ask for, really? This is um, Family Guy Blue Harvest, great thing to have. The next thing, we're back still with Family Guy, found this in a charity shop as well. This is the Christmas one. This is Family Guy Christmas Ho Ho Holy Crap. Um, pick this one up as well. On there you can see it says contains two hilarious Family Guy episodes and a bonus American Dad episode. So, yeah, awesome. You know, it's probably these are um, obviously available on sort of like the season box sets, but I just decided to pick this up because I saw it and I thought, yeah, why not? Let's have a go. So, yeah, nice cover. Stewie down there looking sinister, Brian being electrocuted, and the tree says ho ho holy crap. On the back of it, we'll see about the whole thing there. Um, and uh, there you see it says it's got American Dad on it, Seasons Beatings bonus episode, so that's good. Rad 15 as well. Take a look at this one. And it's got a nice close up picture on this one of Brian being electrocuted while trying to put the star on the tree. A typical Family Guy Christmas. A typical Griffin Christmas. So, yeah. Pretty damn special. Something else is pretty good is this. Yeah, this is WWE 12 for Xbox 360. I found this at a charity shop. Only cost a quid, so I thought I'll grab it. Um, yeah, this is the WrestleMania edition, although there's no documents enclosed in this uh, when I got it. Um, obviously, because there's, um, you know... You know, that's been used, so that's obviously any codes that may have been in there would have been redeemed anyway, but yeah, 
Never mind. See Randy Orton on the front there. This is, of course, by THQ, who are no more. They do not make games anymore. Um, they used to have the WWE franchise game every year, but um, ever since it's gone to 2K games. Starting, uh, starting with the one after this, actually. THQ released it as WWE 13. Then 2K took over to, um, THQ. Then... Um, uh, then they just re-released it as WWE 13 still, but it was under the 2K banner. Um, but this is nothing to do with 13, this is 12. WrestleMania edition includes The Rock and over 15 bonus superstars and divas, who we don't call divas anymore, they're superstars. Bear that in mind. So yeah, this game's rated 12, got the WWE um, sticker on it there. On the back, a few screenshots, bigger, badder, better. Mick Foley on there, Macho Man Randy Savage, John Cena... And a whole lot more. This is really good. We'll take a look at the disc. Now, I have tried this. And the first one I put it in there, it's a Clay DVD in my 360. So I thought, what's going on? Then I looked at the back and saw that. That is actually looking better now on camera than it did um, a little while ago when I tried it. Um, it does load. It does play. But the music cuts out and it's a bit finicky like that. But still, you know... I've, um, I'm going to do the um, toothpaste trick on it, which I know does work. If you don't know what that is, you simply put some blobs of toothpaste on, rub it around in a circular pattern with your finger, keep rubbing it in a little bit of pressure on the disc because toothpaste is ever so slightly abrasive, so it takes the scratches out. So I'm going to give that a shot later um, to improve the disc. But yeah, still happy to have it. You know, it's WWE. What do you not like about WWE? Everyone likes WWE. Everyone likes buying ones that have got slipcases like this. This is WWE, the best of Raw after the show. This is the three-disc set. Found it in a charity shop as well. Um, uh, this is rare footage that I don't even think you'll find on the WWE Network. Um, this is about three years old, about 2013 this was released. It's WWE Raw after the show. Three-disc set. Um, on the front there, you've got Stone Cold having his, um, having his beer. Wish I could. Um, you got on the back um, all access where the back where your backstage pass for what happens when the cameras stop rolling. Well, keep rolling. On the back there you see as well Mr. Daniel Bryan himself. On there it says um, featuring The Rock, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Hulk Hogan, John Cena, DX, Undertaker, Mr. McMahon, Ric Flair, Chris Jericho, and Booker T, and many more. Um, this one I've watched the. Uh, DVD one of this because I only got it on today which is Saturday day of recording and um, yeah it's pretty damn awesome it really is um, The Rock did the Booker T spin a Rooney if you're a wrestling fan um, not The Rock well The Rock did do it but um, they tried to get um, The Undertaker to do the spin a Rooney and he wouldn't have none of it even Vince McMahon came out and did it, which I thought was pretty entertaining. But yeah, this is the what the discs look like. They're nothing too drastic, just a few different colours with um, Best of Raw after the show on it. Um, so yeah, it's a three DVD set, disc one, two and three there. And it's a really, really good thing to own for any wrestling fan. You know, it's absolutely fantastic thing to own. I'm really, really happy that I've got this. Anything wrestling I come across, so I just pick up and don't even give a second thought to it, which is why I bought a scratched game. Um, but I will get... Well, it does work. Let's, be, let's give it its props. It does work, but it could be better. Um, but yeah, this is just um, the November 2, I'm going to call it. Uh, well, you know that. You clicked on it. Uh, I'm going to call this November 2 pickups video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please don't forget to smash that like button. It really does help. And uh, hit subscribe if you're new here. And until next time, guys, thank you very, very much for watching. And as always, keep smiling.